But it can be argued uh, on both sides, good and bad, that only organists understand the organ and other organists, which maybe is why our next item is oh so necessary. It's been suggested that First Plymouth Church went ahead with the installation of the Schoenstein organ here simply because they could not find at that time a reputable accordionist in the area. <laughs> well, I'm not sure that there is such a thing as a reputable accordionist, but uh, we welcome our next guest, Michael Hahn, who in real life is a distinguished professor of church music and director of the sacred music program at the Perkins School of Theology at Southern Methodist University in Dallas, where he joined the faculty back in 1992. Now, the fact that before that he served for 15 years at two Baptist seminaries may lead us to further question his reputation, but if not for that, certainly because of what he is about to share with us, the results of considerable researches and self-reflection here with the history of the organ according to the accordionist, would you please welcome Michael Hahn. Hi, I'm Mike and I'm an accordionist. Thus begins my weekly AA meeting, <laughs> Accordions Anonymous. I'm so pleased to be able to round out the trinity of keyboard instruments tonight with the accordion. Just a brief word, I feel like I'm back home because I grew up in Des Moines, Iowa, where at the age of four and a half, I learned to play my first accordion. They call it child abuse now, but back then that's what you did. <laughs> And so I am pleased to give uh, an interpretation of the organ and its possibilities through the accordion with the collage accordioso, music that was originally written for the accordion but has been borrowed, even stolen, by other performing media. You'll get to hear tonight uh, its first performance, uh, an improvisation heretofore. Well, I don't have any accordion awards or anything, I just play, so.
worry, this is a church. Oh. <laughs>